Happy Sunday, everybody. I am here to share some of the items that I received from Timu. I just did a promotional video that I posted, plus all the Hobby Lobby. Oh, Lord. Anywho, and I wanted to, I've been playing yesterday when Margaret and Roxanne were here. Oh, man, we had a good time. And so I did some there, and I'm working on one this morning. The one I'm working on this morning is this gorgeous heart. It runs about five inches, though, so down and about four across so just for size information it's a little large and so I'm just doing painting a watercoloring there we go oh no and so watercoloring them in I have just a tray of regular watercolors if I don't want it all sparkly on my table but I am loving these the metallic the paintbrush is good. The metallics are, watercolors are gorgeous. They have that shimmer, like mica powder to them. And oh my gosh, gorgeous. So I used it on some of the flowers here. Very pretty. So I'm still working on that one. Let's see, what else? Oh, I love this little, I used this a couple times and I'll show you how I did it. This little lamb and bunny. And little duckies, a spring Easter type stamp. Gorgeous. So cute. Well, not gorgeous. Cute. I shouldn't say gorgeous. I mean, they're nice. But anyway, there we go. Aren't they sweet? So this is going to be a slimline card. <laughs> Look at the butterfly, though. Yeah, he's dive bombing the bunny. Anywho, whatever. I just thought I'm going to go for it. So this has, if you can see the shimmer there, very pretty. And then I did a little bit in the... I wanted some sky, I kind of went overboard on the sky, but anywho, it's okay. I just think these are adorable. I love the lamb. I just did some gray on the bunny and the lamb. So yeah, you can get that catch of that um, shimmer on them. So pretty. So there's that stamp set. And then I also did this on the side of a card on the front cover. It's gorgeous. I got a different for me and the stamp set again. Now the paper I used were some digitals I recently purchased. Um, and I wanted something on here. So I did my bunnies and basket, bunny and basket. And it says, may the new life of spring bring you joy. Cute. So then Margaret and I were talking. I go, well, if I put this... Here on the inside flap, there's nowhere to stamp. And she goes, well, why don't you glue it to the back of it for the front cover? So that's what I did. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing and I just didn't understand or if... Anyway. And then I stamped a sentiment on the inside. Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I just love these images. Very, very happy with these. So, and this cut out really nicely. I can see and there's a couple little places where the little dots didn't come up, but it's okay. Okay, and I'm not the brightest bulb. So, I did not realize that this was an envelope die. And it is, and it makes the cutest little envelope. So, this would be cute to put some bling in a care package or it's not big enough for a let me show measure it i'm getting good at this huh got my new dollar tree ruler okay three by three so it's not very big but oh is it pretty and i used well my digital papers for that i couldn't use what they sent me because they needed bigger than six by six so and it's just got that lace very cute and this would be good in my junk journals just to put a little something something in there very cute Really pretty. So I was surprised. I was like, oh, it's an envelope. Doesn't take much to amaze me. And then I did, I just love this stamp. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. This is the dragonfly. And I use my shimmers on that, the watercolor metallics. Oh my gosh. Because, you know, they, they shimmer. Dragonflies do. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, and I don't know if you can there you get a little bit of the idea of the shimmer. So pretty. Margaret did one where she did another second dragonfly and layered it on there. So it was popping up. So 
So I might have to do that next time. But yeah, I love this. And then I just did it on watercolor paper and then tore around it for that rough edge look. Gorgeous. Really recommend that stamp. And it printed out, or stamped out, it's about five and a half wide. Well, long, I'm sorry. Five and a half long by three and a half. I'm just, I'm gonna be doing more of these. I really, really, really like those. That's a hit for me. I'm enjoying those. Now, I did remember that one time, and I forgot to do this on cut it out using the sticky back double-sided tape on the back of it, and I should have. But anywho, that is what it is. I don't think to do that until it's too late. So I had done that heart one recently, and I paper piece. It took me all day. So I didn't do that with this butterfly one, but I'm loving it. I did, haven't put anything in the center yet. I just watercolored it with the shimmer colors and just kind of came out with different colors. And then I need to put something like a sentiment on the center. Isn't that gorgeous? And then put glitter paper behind. And that's why it's having a hard time sticking because of the glimmer paper or the glitter paper. But yeah, very, very pretty. Really happy with that one too. And that is just your typical, that would fit. It's a little bit big, five by three just under four inches so nice size for a, there's your card put a sentiment in there bada bing bada boom you're done got this one it's got all these little different cuts and um i did this card with it and so this is some of the paper that they sent me and then I just, and I have another piece of paper they sent, you know, from a pack. And those little butterflies are from that other one I just showed you. And then I took the Gina K, did they not stay on there? Or Gina K. Gina Marie. Got these on Gina Marie's site. So I used that on this butterfly here. I thought I put them on, they might have come off or something, I don't know really pretty and here's some of the washi that they sent me so the links again will be below for the craft items and then I just used this card base that I had so yeah very pretty like it I will say the shanks or what there's something I can't get it off on the one diamond shaped so it's kind of I don't know not it cut a little bit into the paper, the little notch. But, yeah, there you go. In fact, I cut off a shank yesterday, and Roxanne goes, that just landed in my air. So be careful when you're doing that. Don't harm your crafty friends. All right, so I have left some more dies that I will be working on this week, this being the Christmas one. Loving these. I'm going to do this one next because I just want to see how that... I just fed the squirrels, so my face, my eyes are keep going to the squirrels. Anyway, I want to... I'm not getting that. What is that? So, anyway. <clears throat> Pretty, but I just don't understand how it goes with the rest of it. This one I'll do. Love those. They're so pretty. I'm going to be doing this heart. Gorgeous. And it has thanks up here so that'll be fun got the snowman i don't have that right here and then i did find and i didn't list these but i'll try to find the link for these snowflakes so that is my so far my review of timu here's the washi that i use and then the blue is somewhere so yeah having fun to crafting i always leave one table up once they leave I had the three tables. I had so many lights. There was no way we were going to not be able to see our project. So we had a, such a good time. We did a potato bar. Um, Margaret brought lots of snacks. And Chico brought um, bark fins with nuts, chocolate bark fins, because yesterday was chocolate nut-covered day. National. <laughs> okay, she's so funny. She's retired. She has time to think about those things, right? Anyway, and uh, it was, I needed that. I needed, I, they always thank me for letting everybody come over. And I'm like, I, that's a joy to me. One, I don't have to pack my stuff up. Two, I have company. I don't have company that often. 
So this evening, my son is having, I'm having Emma this afternoon. And then when I take her home, I get treated to a nice dinner with, at their house. So very excited for that. It's just a good Sunday. I need that in my life. I'm just, I tend to get overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, I don't sleep. And it's just a whole thing. Got to get my phone. I got to go to Verizon today. Hopefully I don't have to go to the Apple store because anyway, um, I changed my phone number. And then I got an alert, this was about two months ago, about, oh, somebody's trying to access, do you want to block them? And I did. Well, I can't sign back in because I hadn't changed my, I thought my phone number would be different, and it's not. So it keeps sending me the code to log in to my old phone number, and I can't seem to get it to, anyway, you know. I love technology until it doesn't work, so there's that. All right, guys, have a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.